all right good morning and uh, thank you everyone for joining and thank you for being here part of this virtual panyurithmi group um, i know it's kind of hard to learn panyurithmi uh, online but i feel when we have the winter cycle we reinforce everything we know about the panyurithmi uh, and what we do during the spring and summer so i will share my screen in a minute uh, and we'll step through some slides what i propose and this is what we were trying when ardella was watching us madly turning around downstairs that we do all of the theory first and then i'm in lalita's office and then we'll go downstairs and then we'll do the movements uh, demonstration and then uh, Lalita and I will dance together because for some of these exercises without um, demonstration in, with two people, it's actually hard to follow what's happening. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so uh, this is session number four, and today we will cover the square, beauty, agility, which sometimes it's called flowing, and I've seen even the title flexibility, but I think agility works best because podvizhnost uh, in Bulgarian, dvizhenie means movement, moving, and that's like in association closes to uh, to this translation in English <clears throat> and then overcoming which sometimes it's called victory uh, or Pobezdavane uh, is can have other translations as well so this is for today next session is uh, on January 6th it, it is joy of the earth um, and sun meditation we covered quite a bit in last time sun is rising but <clears throat> there is um, a beautiful study that was done about the benefits of panyurithmi about the words in panyurithmi and it's a really very rich information about uh, how panyurithmi influences our lives and i will definitely go over that next time um, there was a very nice lady her name is Lyudmila Chervencova, Chervenkova um, and she did all these studies there is even a very nice uh, a paper which is a scientific publication in a European Journal of Sports Medicine um, that I should share with uh, everyone so it's really a very um, in-depth uh, and uh, an explanation that uh, whether people uh, are spiritual or they're just getting into something uh, some the metaphysics and the, the meaning of all of this it works uh, like in a very open uh, way so um, I will remind that uh, we are following uh, Panyurithmi, a uh, book by Antoneta Krushevska, which was originally assembled with, by Ernestina Staleva and many other uh, others who helped. It's available on, on Amazon. And also Ardella's book, which is like reading poetry when you read her explanations. And I'm always honored when Ardella joins us. Um, the, the figures in her book are very conceptual and I think it's much easier to remember those figures and of course the beautiful bu butterfly book um, which uh, again brings very <clears throat> nice images uh, of uh, dancing, dancing children and I always like to think that, that we are the dancing children of Panyurithmi. So the square, 
um, is really an exercise that teaches us how to have uh, the right standard by which we measure everything on earth. Now, during the movements, uh, the face or our body turns towards uh, the four directions in, in the world, towards east, west, north and south. And, and west and each one has its own meaning. So when we are facing the east, uh, we are facing uh, the side at the justice. When we are facing south, uh, we are facing virtue. Um, and when we are facing north, we're uh, facing the truth and uh, west, uh, assembles all these elements and we are actually facing the earthly existence, the humanity in this earthly existence. So um, we dance in a square, we create this square because as you know in astrology uh, that is the toughest uh, figure that you have on your chart but also it's um, the one that helps you grow the most, grow the fastest. They asked the Master Ben Saduno, uh, what was the astrological chart of Jesus Christ? And he said, oh, it was full of squares. Um, and uh, recently I learned that the Master of, uh, the, the chart of uh, Master Ben Saduno also had many squares. Uh, he was um, uh, sometimes, uh, you, you know, he, he had many followers, but he had people who uh, a few times made attack on his life. So um, he had his own uh, obstacles in, in this life as well. And plus, <laughs> facing the Bulgarian ma mindset is not easy. <laughs> let me tell you. So that's why he spent almost 20 years traveling through Bulgaria, um, talking to people, understanding their reality, their problems, their obstacles, and understanding how to actually teach what when he started the, the school in 1922 until 1944. But of course, between 1900 and 1922, he uh, had many lectures and wrote books and gave some of the most important prayers that um, I think we, uh, we say until today. Um, most importantly, uh, the good prayer, which is the prayer for humanity and for all the angel hierarchies. Um, that prayer was given actually on 30th of November in 1923. I, I recently uh, was reminded of that fact. And um, the other thing about square, it represents the spiritualizing of the element of earth. Now, uh, when we go towards the center, this is the path of involution. We are going inward. And when we come back from the center, that represents the path of evolution. So we are evolving out of, from, from within to everywhere. And then also res resolving these squares and doing this exercise helps us in resolving our karma from the past. And now there are two times that we do the square. And interestingly, um, uh, I, I was very thrilled uh, uh, when I discovered that my math teacher actually does yoga and kundalini and, and, and follows uh, a, a nice spiritual path. She's also born on, on January 24th like me. <laughs> and, um, and I'm like, of course. <laughs> That, that, that date tells you something. But um, when I taught her the square and the first time she danced Panyuritmi, I just had a few minutes to show her very few movements. And then she joined the circle and then came after and said, 
the square we dance two times why so the first time is really we're doing the work facing the earthly challenges um, but it's like we are working with our past karma and then the second time when we repeat all of this work at a higher consciousness and reflection level we're actually creating our future so the two times are not the same um, and any 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 way when we do something two or three times uh, the first time it's almost like the body is learning something and then the second the third time you're really going full forward with the movement. So um, how do we describe the movement of the square? This is like the view from above. Uh, so if the center, this X in a circle is the musicians, we have the inner circle and then the outer circle. So the partners are standing uh, one behind another and they're both facing the center of the circle so um, we go forward eight steps turn around eight steps turn around eight steps turn around eight steps all under 90 degrees turning left so one rule you always replace uh, always um, um, go forward and you move left so when it's about time to turn you turn left 90 degrees left 90 degrees and you do that continuously throughout the exercise so and the other thing is as you can see uh, if there are two partners so the partner who's standing behind follows the footsteps of the one stepping forward but then when we go back it's the opposite actually um, so the partner who's who was behind is now ahead and now the other person uh, follows the footsteps which means you always try to step in the steps of others because we are all growing and and um, as that uh, expression says standing on the shoulders of giants we stand on the knowledge and experience of the people before us and also in harmony with the people who uh, with whom we live we work uh, and we build something new in life so um, the movements <clears throat> are very beautiful we start so uh, the they're facing the circle like here and uh, both hands are in front of the chest the middle fingers are touching and then we open the arms and uh, when the arms are open first we step uh, sideways uh, with the right foot we retract the hands back uh, again to the original position and then we do the same with the left leg uh, so this in total is again eight counts and then we go forward but now the arms go up in the air they're not horizontal they they do vertical semicircles um, so in one sense we're first clearing our immediate surrounding and we stay in one place and then when we go forward we are making these big arch-like movements and we are clearing uh, the space and we, we are creating our future so to speak uh, we are um, creating these beautiful movements and sending energy uh, flowing all over but we are also at the same time receiving the uh, earth energy as we said this is an exercise that spiritualizes the element of earth the the song in uh, bulgarian is uh, quadrat uh, and it goes slunce to grey 
the sun is shining, trepti zorata od život i ljubov. The dawn vibrates with life and love. Um, oscillates was another word that I was considering, but it's like when the dawn is vibrant with um, life and love. Again, trepti zorata, zora is dawn, and you might see um, there, are, there are people in Bulgaria and that part of the world that are called zora or zorica, uh, which is dawn. Trepti zorata, grenalas v briljantni lači. Uh, the dawn vibrates shining in diamond rays. Vsičko dne spe, everything sings, everyone sings. Vsičko dne sladko glasno pe. Uh, everyone sings sweetly today. And you can see that I was in a different font when I did that. Okay. Um, and this is for God's day. Za Božji den. Za novi svetel Božji den. For a new bright divine day. You can also say divine day. I think divine works better now that uh, I'm, I'm seeing this. Divine day. And we'll fix this thing. So now we are back. And za radost nova, for new joy. Radost uh, is very is is a word that's quite uh, re repeated in Panioritni. Also, ljubov, love. Um, so you, after a while, you start to internalize these words. For new joy, što v srcatani bespirno lej, which flows through our hearts. And then <clears throat> a very uh, impressionistic uh, view of the same uh, the same concepts as as in the Bulgarian, and this was translated uh, by Vesela Nestorova. Bright is the morn, filled with the fragrance sweet of flowers just born, white pearls of dew, a golden crown, her glorious head adorn. All nature sings, all nature now with music rings, praising the dawn, praising the morning newly born, praising the rising sun, the radiant father of the morn. Red is the east, God's loving lips, its brilliant forehead have kissed, filling the morning air with vibrant life and sacred bliss. All nature sings, all nature now with music sing, rings. Praising the dawn, praising the morning newly born, praising the rising sun, the radiant father of the morn. <clears throat> and I just uh, remembered um, something that uh, my friend uh, reminded me yesterday, uh, the one that I mentioned that, that does panuritmi. Uh, she's a medical doctor um, about the morning light and especially the light at sunrise, how on a physiological level, it actually raises the level of cortisol in our body. And cortisol is the hormone that, you know, it's the one that when you decide fight or flight, meaning you you fight the situation through the evolution right uh, you fight or you run away you need to have enough uh, muscle enough uh, power in order to run and that's why in any stressful situation our cortisol goes up but what happens during the sunrise and when you are outside in the morning, when you are receiving this morning light, is the cortisol level goes up and then it stays up. So it is shown when that cortisol level, which is raised in the morning, during the day you have many stressful situations, but your cortisol doesn't go, doesn't shoot up as much. 
doesn't go up so fast so you don't get anxious very fast because you are sort of quote unquote vaccinated with cortisol in the morning with the morning light so i thought that was brilliant you know i mean every time uh we we rediscover something like this of course it's all embedded in the teaching and in panurhythmy but you realize how brilliant all this is the next uh the next song in this quartet of square beauty agility and overcoming is really the one that takes all of these materials that are given by the square and now it starts to process them um, this is the electricity the, the square is really expressed here it's put at work it uh, really although you would say beauty <clears throat> people associate it with the feminine principle but in this case uh, we are using the masculine principle to uh, reach for the ideal world and here there is something beautiful in all nature's forms an invisible hand is at work and it creates the combination of forms that we observe so this is the image of gods of god which is expressed in nature now um, you will say beauty doesn't exist in nature it actually exists in our impression of nature in our uh, experiencing nature so um, without beauty uh, we would experience everything differently but it's it's in in the eyes of us as as beholders of beauty so um, perfect beauty really is a human ideal and as we dance this uh, song we actually spiritualize the element of the air and i want to remind you that the, the music of beauty and agility is exactly the same uh, so it's on purpose actually that one of these movements is more like the masculine principle uh, which processes the square and the other one has movements that um, uses the feminine principles of processing the square uh, so the air is beauty and water is um, is the agility so i would say the movements of beauty uh, are really the ones that and en that enliven that uplift that give new life hope energy and vision so um, as ardella says in her book without vision the the people perish so we step forward together both um, right leg and right arm we reach forward and as you can see the hand is facing towards the body it's not facing up in this case okay um, and when we step forward we lightly rock back because we are affirming that principle of uh, of beauty we're affirming that we're working out uh, the uh, energies of the square and resolving and going forward through all the obstacles in our astrological uh, sense in the astrological chart so then follows but by, the, by the movement of the left um, hand and and left leg going forward and this is repetitive until the end of the song um, so the words is um, they, they again uh, are description of the dawn and our greeting the sun Vsyaka sutrin vranen chas every morning at dawn slunce to posreštame we greet the sun Lachi, vazduh, irosa, rays, air, and dew. Uh, 
radvat našite srca. Make our hearts joyful. Vdahnoveni misli v nas da potekat. Inspired thoughts should flow within us. I krasivi čustva da rastat. And beautiful thoughts and feelings. Čustva is rather feelings, so sorry about that. Um, feelings should grow. Slatki zreli plodove da davat. Sweet and ripe fruits they should bear. I života vred da ukrasjavat. And life they should adorn. Grenali lačina vred. The rays radiate all around. Bistro izvorče šurti. Clear stream gurgles. Radost plika v celi sjat. Joy is flowing in the world. In the whole world. Ptička veselo leti. So let me, let me do that while we are online. And... Um, I saw something else here uh, in the whole world. Okay. And this is another one. Okay. So uh, in English, the, the poetry by Vesela is graceful, beautiful and free. Nature's music follows, follow we. High above an angel sings, raising each hand a blessing brings. Knowing only flowing motions, soft as gold, lovingly we let a bud of beauty unfold. Like a lively brook in flow, Thus our hearts and minds will grow. So we dance each day to be graceful, beautiful and free. The next uh, song is Agility. And uh, this exercise begins with these very fluid movements. To me, actually, agility and the square are the most complex movements in the panioritmi. And when I teach people who want to join a circle and we have only uh, a few, uh, an hour or two, uh, then I, I, after the first 10 movements, jump into agility and, um, and the square because it's a little complex choreography uh, because we are facing the center but and we are starting on the left side but we go forward and immediately turn around so in from that involution oriented centric world view when we are facing inside then we take all of our beauty, all of our virtues and express it on the outside. That's at least the, uh, how the, I, I experience the movements. It represents the spiritualization of the element of water, which is love, the heart energy. Uh, this song is the feminine principle in nature and because nature is a great and mighty thing. If you were to take the feminine principle out of life, death will come in an instant. The feminine principle entered into life from the moment of its creation. Do not separate woman from life. In other words, love from life. And I wanted to read this, um, which is a quote from the master. God does not always give. Sometimes he takes. He gives in one respect but takes in another. In the same way, the ocean sends moisture to the land, yet gets it back to the rivers. In, in this meaning, the masculine and the feminine are the two principles at work. The masculine is creative and the 
feminine is receptive. Therefore, we should be aware, aware of and true to these two principles in life. Only in this way we can attain our heart's and mind's desires. Only God can fulfill your ideas and desires. So I will demonstrate later with Lalita and we're facing left, we're facing the center. Uh, left arm is straight pointing towards the left, parallel to, uh, to the earth, um, followed by the, also the right arm. And we step forward on one. And as you can see at that step, the hands uh, lightly meet each other. Uh, and then, so on two, we turn around and this is the next picture. And then we land on the left leg. Uh, the right leg is lightly above the ground. And then the next step is we cross. There are many folk dances that do this cross. So rather than going forward, we actually cross with the right leg while performing a movement as if flying. And then the hands come back and point to the right. There is a variant of this uh, exercise where the right hand comes over the left hand. Uh, but recently there were some uh, pictures that were found in the archive. So uh, now everyone in Bulgaria or, or most people, I should say, dance in this way. This is the same word, so we're uh, going to skip. And then um, the next exercise is overcoming. So this really represents our resolve to take possession, to take ownership of everything that has been attained. And now we are gaining the mastery of all of that that we have achieved and we have conquered. So I'll use this quote, the human being is divine. You possess hidden within all the possibilities for a high principled life. What you have lost, you will find. When? When you realize that God has implanted untold riches within you. All possibilities exist for a person to become an artist, poet, scientist, and so on. Malice in people is on the surface. It is something external. The divine in human beings is unconquerable, no matter what trial a person passes through in the end, he, she, they will return to his, to their original state. And another favorite a uh, quote is, through the light, the advanced beings, the forces of light, fight with the forces of darkness. The light is the most powerful weapon. The forces of light have already had the upper hand over the forces of darkness. Victory is on the side of the good. So, as we mentioned, also the, this exercise is the one that spiritualizes the element of fire. Um, and when we perform this exercise, as you can see, um, because this is a very decisive uh, movement, the upper body doesn't swing left and right. The upper body, you just stay straight. And then we start with the right leg going forward uh, and up and at the end there is a slight push uh, our resolve to for conquering right then we come back with the on the left side uh, and and at the same time uh, lifting the right 
the right leg. And I should mention then that when we lift the leg, it's, uh, it's a movement that uh, Ina Doinova used to call the stork movement. The, uh, the foot is such that you're pointing with your toes downward. You're connecting with Mother Earth and you're both sending the energy there and you're creating that resolve uh, for conquering. The words are very, very beautiful, just as decisive as, as our movements are in this exercise. Very sharp movements. It's probably one of the sharpest movements. Um, there was uh, another movement, if you remember, when we were pushing the walls, which is the movement of sustain, sustain. Um, sacred thoughts about life you shall sustain that was previously and now uh, it's that push going forward and up it's the wave that you, we are sending forward to conquer all of the all of this it starts with denyat pristiga slednošta the day arrives after the night i radost ide sled skrpta and joy comes after sorrow. Vervim and me posvetli pat. We're we're going along the bright path. Egradi nyama dani sprat. Obstacles will not stop us. Tui bespirno te vervime. So we will go on and on. Sviara i ljubov v gardite with hope and love in our chest. Kam pobedi štelitime, we will fly towards victory, dokat gledat ni očite, until our eyes are open. Bodro vdigame čela, cheerfully we raise our foreheads, smelo trgvame napred, boldly we go forward, dori nevolja i beda, even in trouble and misery, za nas e hubav Boži svijat. For us, there is a beautiful divine world. Milvan i tihijat zefir, the quiet breeze caresses us, pejat ni ptički zvesel glas, birds sing with joyful voices, lesev dušata elixir, elixir pours in our soul, pri izgrev slunce vranen čas, at sunrise, early at dawn. So that's more of the uh, translation which is rather very literal translation and uh, that's definitely on purpose um, i would I, I will read now the beautiful poetry of vesela night time is over says the sun likewise is sadness overcome Steadily forward, we bravely press through days of happiness, through distress. Life is endless, life, love and beauty. And to do God's will, our duty. So pass on, achieve your goal, fill with light your hungry soul. Heaven will help you on your way. Love will cast all fear away. Happy are they who seek, who see the track, never a thought of turning back, always of living for the whole. This is victory for the soul. And um, I will now go to another uh, space in the house and uh, demonstrate the movements with uh, with Lalita uh, just allow me a couple of minutes I will switch off the video and uh, and we'll go downstairs stay stay with me
All right. So let's. We tested this, but. <laughs> you change it since I think. Have to get, can you make it like full screen for your this thing? Highlight your. Uh, let's pin. Yeah, I think it pin so we can see it better. Uh, okay. I don't need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> at this age, <laughs> this is our joke. At, the, at this age. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, um, perfect. I'm gonna yeah, why don't you start? Yeah. And then I just want to make a trial thing. Yeah, so uh, we don't need that. Do yeah, this. it's the edge of that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I think this we got it. Perimeter. Yeah, yeah, I think okay. that's it. Yeah. Great. Maybe we'll just do a little back. Okay. Yeah, that'll just leave. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So we'll first demonstrate the movements and then we'll also do the dance together. I invite you to also get up and do the movements together. Uh, you can, even if uh, you don't have space, you can at least do the movements of the hands. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll come back for the music. And first, um, we were going to do the square. Yeah, we're starting there. Uh, the square we start from here, right? Yeah. You're behind me. No, I'm behind you. Okay, yes. 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 Perfect. Perfect. So, as we said, our hands are in front of the chest, they're horizontal. We stay, uh, we stand very proud and and um, and loving and, and all of that and then the middle fingers are touching and they're parallel to the ground and the first movement we go right foot and we open our arms and we, we come back to this position and then left foot and we are touching just with the toe, uh, we are touching the ground to the left and we retract back. So we go right and then we go left. So this we do, uh, it's actually eight counts and we are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then we go forward, and when we go forward, we make these beautiful arch-like movements upward. So one, two, three, four, five, six. On seven, we turn around. Seven, eight. Beautiful. So that these are the basic elements. And now we repeat the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. On seven, we turn. On eight, the left leg comes back to the right leg. Okay? And now we repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we just did one square Beautiful. and uh, we'll do now with music. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll play it on my computer. Uh, original music for original sound for musicians is on. And we have about 10 seconds before the music starts. Okay. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, this cleared. Uh, albums, not for clothes. Oh, nice. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay. okay, now we're we're good. Okay. So that was the square. I hope uh, you had a chance. So, yeah. The next one is beauty. We'll come back to that one. I need to rewind. I just wanted to ask, uh, is, this, is this clear? Were you guys able to do it? The counting is simple, right? 
Flo, what do you think? Okay, maybe Flo is muted and dancing. It's great to be dancing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know you love to dance. So this time, because uh, uh, of the space, we said first we'll do all of the theory and then we'll do the practice. Great. Great to be dancing, especially this one. Uh, if I haven't danced for a while, I can definitely feel a little bit the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the next song we'll do is Beauty. And uh, I will first show the movement and then we'll play the music. Ah, uh, yes. So the movement here is we go forward and we rock back a little bit. We go forward with the left hand, left leg we go back. So leg and arm are always synchronized. Leg and arm are synchronized. The uh, backward hand is towards the body. And we reach forward. So together the two hands if I draw a line, it's like under 45 degrees with the earth and it's a beautiful flowing um, movement and you rock back a little bit in place. So you reaffirm uh, your intention with the beauty. Okay, so I will start the music. It starts in about 10 seconds. Uh, what does it say? Around the wrist? Yeah, around, yeah. So this is this the yeah. axe, yes. this exercise were you able to do it Flo you loved it okay so the next one is agility um, and agility is the one that uh, for a long time I can tell you I was really struggling <laughs> with. <laughs> uh, everybody was going inward, I was going outward, and that's why I have uh, understanding for everyone who's trying it the first few times. Uh, I just want to switch off a few apps here so that my uh, laptop doesn't start melting. I think 
this is much better. Um, okay. So in the agility, uh, again, we just have to put here. No, just here. But why don't we show it first? Yes. In the agility, we start all, so the body is facing the center of the circle. We are turned towards the left side. So left arm is fully extended, going left, meaning going backward. We start with the principle of love, everything that's towards the left as uh, we introduced earlier in Tanya Whitney. And then the point about agility is to make this quick movement uh, outward. So we step forward. At the same time, the hands come together and then we, we swing and we uh, land on the left on the left leg and extend our hands, right? And then we, oh, sorry, <laughs> we will go from, from, from the beginning. I have to do it one time <laughs> to get out of the theory mode into the, uh, into the doing mode. Okay, so we go, we extend the leg, the arms, we come back and we come back then both arms are facing so we do this right. First? We, we do this like a rocking duck. Oh, we come okay. back, okay. and then we go forward. So the way I counted with the with the feet first is uh, we do one and two, three. Yeah, uh, nice. We cross four. We land, and then. One, two, three, cross, four, we come back. One, two, three, cross, four, back. One, two, three, we come back. One, two, three, we drop back. One, two, three cross, four, and we come back. So, so the three is the cross. Yeah. So we go one, two, three, we cross on four, we land, and we rock back. One, two, three, cross, four, final step, rock. One forward, two forward, three cross, four, and then we uh, uh, on five, it's kind of we sway back. One, two, three cross, four forward, come back. One, two forward, three cross, four, and then we rock back. One, two, three cross, four, rock back, one, two, cross, three, four, and rock back, okay? Is this clear? <clears throat> it, it's kind of complicated movement. Huh? Winnie, what do you think? We'll be able to do it? All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, play the music then and we'll do it together. So I'm next to you? I'm the center? Yeah, you, okay. you're next to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, that's the center.
So that was our agility. Beautiful flowing movements. <clears throat> Spiritualizing the element of water. It's really very flowing. I just, I'm always amazed how like when the whole circle does this and how it looks from like above from a drone. It's really amazing. Okay. And now is the exercise conquering, overcoming. And for this exercise, uh, we'll yeah, sure, first sure. Yeah. going and stepping forward. So we are facing the center. And um, in this exercise, as we said, this is a very decisive, sharp movement. Uh, and we don't swing left and right. So uh, our upper body stays straight. We are resolved to go forward. So we, we stand and the left, uh, the arms are facing uh, are on the right side, uh, both, both arms, and then we step forward and we make that slight push, uh, slight wave forward. We're, we're sending it up in the ideal world. We come back, when we come back, we make that storm, a stork like um, figure, and then we go forward. Push, back, stork. We go forward, push, come back, stork, we go forward, push, make the stork back and we go forward. And make that resolve that no matter what, we'll be conquering all the obstacles in front of us. And of course, the biggest obstacles is within. <laughs> yes, it's us. It's me. Indeed. Okay. So let's do the next exercise um, I will play the music now are you ready standing and ready to dance okay Winnie okay Winnie you're ready okay great so I'll start the music in a few seconds, it will come up. We just have to set it. It's okay. like we are going around the circle. So I'm set the or behind you? You're behind okay. me. on the space <laughs> and I didn't do the stork I think I didn't do it oh, consciously <laughs> at least yeah so how was that Flo wonderful okay <laughs> great it's always great because this is the quartet where we are really in panorythmy entering the earth 
the earthly existence and we start now very um, like we we roll up our sleeves in these four exercises i'd like to particularly congratulate lalita she was so graceful and followed you so perfectly she was always <laughs> I have a great teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank totally, you. totally in tune with you, which is not easy to follow someone de demonstrating. Yeah. <laughs> and Lalita yeah, was dancing right. a few times with us in Central Park. And also when Ina Doinova was here, this was back in 2002. Yeah. You came for the workshop. Yes, I remember. Yes. So, yeah. It's uh, quite amazing yes. to be together all these years Absolutely. and thank you for giving our, your space today so we can yes. record this, yes. uh, this session. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the connection of energy with this dance and how Naveka explains, you know, how, you know, it's all network connected and network there's a movement i remember just goes like this and this yes that was remember? the beginning that's the, the beginning uh -huh. and and that one when when i danced in 2003 so if you go down you're essentially giving the energy to earth if it's up it's you want to receive energy and then 20 years ago i want to do this but now older and wiser actually when you do <laughs> down when okay. you give energy is when you get energy. Oh, okay. So you connect the principles, you know, it comes to you in stages in life when you do this dance and when you talk to people like the Venka. It's been a beautiful journey. For oh, sure. it's, it's been an amazing <laughs> yeah. journey what we've been yeah. through. Yeah, I remember from that from that workshop uh -huh. 20 years ago. This one thing <laughs> stayed in my head. I'm like, that's why I'm the person I am today because of that dance and that thought, <laughs> you know, that scene. <laughs> And because she meditates every day. <laughs> and she practices on her family. No. Three, kids, three beautiful big kids included. <laughs> All smart and, and amazing yeah. kids. Beautiful. So yeah. gorgeous, beautiful. So thank you again. Yeah, and thank you. Thank, thank you for, for joining yes. everyone. And I also wanted to say thank you to Tanner, who visited us in New York a uh, couple of weeks back. And I feel the, the city received more light than the year <laughs> before. And I was so, so happy to, uh, to have you visit. And I hope, uh, Tanner, you will come back, but I also hope others will come. Uh, I have space in my house, so come and stay, Lalita, you included. Yes. Uh, so we'll do, we'll continue the circle of joy, the circle of Panyuritmi. Okay, great. We'll uh, join the other uh, session now okay. at 1130 on the other link. Uh, if you are still missing the link, send me a quick email and I'll forward the link. And um, see you, see you soon. Thank you Bye. so much, Navanka. Thank you. Thank you, Flo, for joining. Okay. Bye.